Good morning, everybody. <laughs> uh, well, here's another car vlog, but it's not just a car vlog. I've just got, oh, let me just turn that off. It makes a noise. Um, I've got a really busy day today, a uh, really busy morning because the weather's been so bad I haven't been able to do anything. I've got to go to the post office. Um, I don't think I remember those green clothes that I got sent in error and I said they'd be good for a drama group. Well, one of my uh, subscribers contacted me and said that uh, they'd be useful for her Irish centre. So uh, I've parceled them up and they're going today. A bit late, really. I should have sent them earlier, but I was just being so busy with one thing and another. And now I'm just going into the plant place. I've taken you there before. Now, do you remember I did um, a Christmas video, a, a, a video of all their Christmas things? And there was one thing that I've, I've always loved there. It's very, an expensive, like, Christmas tree ornament. Oh, that gentleman's letting me in. Um, well, they kindly contacted me and said that I could have it at a greatly discounted um, price. So I'm going to collect it um, and put it away for next year. Oh, can't put it down here, they're all dis- oh, but I can get in here. Um, so I'm doing that, then I've got to go into Poulton. Um, because the weather's been so bad, I haven't done my shopping. I kept putting it off. I know, and you know, I was really mad yesterday. Um, I thought, well, I've seen people, and I'll just reverse out, I'm not quite in the space. The little lines that I can hardly see. I thought yesterday, I'd do one of those. Have you seen that Tesco whoosh advertised? So I ordered like bread and milk and quite a few things and it's 2 99 for delivery, which because the weather was bad, I didn't think mattered. Um, you know, I thought I'd pay it. Anyway, um, it said it would be there, I think within 90 minutes. So I waited and I waited and I waited and like three hours later, it still didn't arrive. So I checked my email and you know, they charged me for the order and then they decided to cancel it. Obviously the local, Tesco although it did keep saying that um cancelled some of the items in the first place because they weren't in the local Tesco so I don't know what all that was about but I shan't be using it again because it was a complete waste so they've taken the money out of my account and they said that they will refund me but it may take a few days well that's all right um I can afford that but there might be a lot of people who can't you know, like if you're elderly and don't, elderly, I know I'm elder. Oh, my makeup looks a bit funny today. Um, if you're elderly uh, and on a very limited budget, you know, and had them delivered, you might not be able to afford that money coming out um, and not going back in for a few days when they can't deliver what they've said they would. Why don't they just tell you in the first place? Anyway, that's my mum for today. Tesco whoosh, you whooshy. I shan't be using you again. Um, so, um, let's go into the plant place. I might do a bit of filming there, I might not. It depends if they've got some new things out for spring. I'll do a bit of filming. If not, I won't bother. Okie dokie, I'll see you in a bit. This is the plant place. is a lovely local garden centre and I think it's privately owned. It always was. You always have some beautiful things in and I think they're quite reasonably priced. Look at the other willow these, look at these chopped down. I could do with the one next door to be chopped down like that. in the plant place because most of the shelves are empty it looks like they've cleared all the uh, Christmas things away and are getting it ready for spring the lady said it's mainly chemicals and things like that that have come in so I didn't think you'd be interested in that right next stop the post office Do 
you know when I'm filming, when I look in the viewfinder, I can see a scratch across it, but it doesn't show on my videos and I can't see it on my screen. So I don't really know what it is. Anybody out there know what it is? And it sometimes turns yellow, that line. Maybe it's something I've put on it that I don't know about. Right, I think we can get out. Right, I'm going this way, um, which will probably be a bit of a nightmare because they built this new road that nobody's happy about. I've no idea why they built it. And it's been going on for years. And it's just causing traffic mayhem. They've opened part of it and it just queues all the time. It was better as it was before. All oh, these traffic lights are out now. That's all I need. Let's hope there's no accidents. To be truthful, it made it easier. It was a roundabout before the traffic lights. Bring back the roundabout. and I need to go to Aldi, I want to go to Home Bargains. If there's anything decent in there, I'll show you. Oh, look at my hair, it's such a mess. So I've pinned it up. Take extra care at traffic signals. It must have put some temporary traffic signals in. called at this little post office because it's not as busy as the big one um, I'll just go in and drop the parcel off and then we'll nip to Aldi right that's the second job done a closer on the way to Moira for the Irish Centre I hope they get use of them I'm glad that somebody's using them oh this video looks dark
Right, here we are at Aldi. Next port of call. I'll take you in with me because you never know, there may be some lovely bargains in there. Right, well I went in Aldi, there was nothing exciting to show you, I don't know what I've done with my car keys now, what have I done with them? Uh, so I'm just going to go to Home Bargains, there'll probably be something I can show you in there. And then I've just rung Sandy up, I was going to pop around for a coffee, but she wants some fresh air, so we're going to meet in Poulton. So, I'll see you a bit later. <laughs> I've, I've just bought some stuff I wanted to do. You know, I've got that pressure cooker. Well, I'm going to do something else in it. Um, I do really like it, actually. Um, but I'm not doing Slimming World as such. I'm trying to diet. But my son's doing Slimming World. And he's been doing really well with it. Anyway, in my, to cut a long story short, he must have bought um, a 10-week pass. And he got a free cookbook. So I've been looking at some of the recipes in there. So I thought I'll try a recipe tonight because it'll be good for his slimming world. And then um, it'll be all right for me, I suppose. <laughs> okay, I'll see you in a bit. I've also a big bag of stuff to drop off at the charity shop, as you might know, because I did the, well, I've done part of my wardrobe clear out. I need to do a bit more. To be truthful, I'm always going through it because I've got far too many things. I mean, I've still got some things from when I worked and I've been retired 14 years. So I do need to get rid. Right. I'm only just popping across to the other car park. Because you've only got an hour and a half on Aldi, so I can go in here. Because this is where Home Bargains is anyway. I'm prattling on again, aren't I? Oh, all the things in the shops for Valentine's. As soon as Christmas is over, it's Valentine's and Easter. Now I want to try and get near to the charity shop so I don't have far to carry the bag. Right, so here we are in Home Bargains and as you can see there's lots of things for Valentine's Day and also Mother's Day, there was lots of things for Mother's Day. Oh, these are the Mother's Day items. There were some really nice things actually, you know, and quite reasonable. There were some little vases, I don't know if you just saw them, I bought one of those last year, it's very useful. I think they're about 125. I thought these jugs were lovely. You know, you can imagine them with spring flowers in. There was all sorts of different things, slippers, toiletries, all at very reasonable prices. This is a Valentine section. It was nice to see there's quite a few things for men as well. I thought those flowers looked a bit dusty. The little heart-shaped chocolates. Lots of little things if you were going to do a tablescape that would be nice. These are more the Easter things here. Easter's early this year, isn't it? I think it's in March. Lots of little things if you wanted to make up a little Easter bag for a child, you know, paint your own bunnies and things like that. Little crafty things. 
Then those little tins there, the, the, the rabbit and the chicken, they're full of little treats. I always think they look cute. Chocolate, we won't talk about chocolate. <laughs> now, I wanted to show you this because I've bought this and I'm going to show it you in a bit. Um, it's really good. And then this Pyrex, well, it's not Pyrex, but this glass oven proof dish look really good. This is what I was showing you again. Um, I did quote the price wrong in my vlog after, but I think I've put it on the screen. Hi, it's the next day now. <laughs> I did meet Sandy for a coffee and we had a nice chat. Um, so, um, not that we don't chat often, we do. Um, so, I did go in home bargains. Now, I see all these um, people doing home bargains hauls. And then when I look, I can never see the things that I want. Um, so, um, I didn't buy much from home bargains. I'd actually gone because I wanted some storage boxes. Um, somebody suggested putting some baskets in my wardrobe. I do have them in one of my other wardrobes, but I thought, oh yeah, that's a good idea. So I will do that. So I do read your comments and take note of them. Um, so um, the one thing that I just wanted to show you that I bought was in Home Bargains, there was this. And it is, just let me get my glasses. What have I done with them? Do you know I'd lose my head if it was loose? I had them a minute ago. Oh, here they are. It's, it's the make is Royal Van Kempen and Begeer and it's a three piece baking set. There's a lasagna pan, a loaf pan and a baking tray. Um, so I'll show you them, I'll open them with you and they, they feel really heavy, good quality. Now, I think I was, um, I was persuaded because it said that the list price for these was, um, $63.99 and they were $6.99 so it said save £57 and I thought wow that's a good saving so they must be good quality so I'll try and unbox them and show them yeah um they also had yeah I have put a bit of footage in from Home Bargains they did a lovely Pyrex day well I don't know if it was Pyrex but it it was certainly good quality and I think that was $6.99 with a lid on but I didn't need that uh, but I can replace some of my baking tins if I can get them out. Right, let's have a look. So I thought these... Let me just... So there's these two. So there's that they classed as a lasagna tin, which will be good because I tend to make a lasagna that's far too big. So that would be a good size um, for a, a small family, wouldn't it? And then there's a loaf tin. Do you know, they're so strong. And on, underneath it, it's got the logo. Van Kempen and Burger Royal. And it's the safe up to 230 degrees and the dishwasher safe, but not microwave, as you would imagine. So there's those two. And then there's this baking tray, which I thought would be really useful. So I think those three... For six pounds, I think that's a really good bargain. So I just thought I'd come on and tell you about that. Um, and this will be the end of the vlog, really. Uh, I just thought it, it was such good value. I mean, they feel so sturdy and such good quality. And I do like the size of this um, this tray. You see, I think these will be good. I've got an entire oven. And I think they'll be really good in there. So, that's my bargain from Home Bargains. <laughs> so, I, I did put some footage in that you will see. But I didn't really buy much. I mean, I did buy a few things. But it wasn't anything that would be of any interest to you, you know. Um, I bought, what did I buy? Just mainly, like, washing up liquid and stuff like that. <laughs> washing, washing um well, not powder, but washing sheets and that. So, um, so I think that is the end of my vlog. <laughs> so I'll see you next time. If you've enjoyed this, it'd be lovely if you would subscribe. Uh, it doesn't actually cost anything. Uh, and give me a thumbs up and give me a comment <laughs> if you like. <laughs> as long as it's not too negative. <laughs> 
you know it's funny isn't it because you, like the last um the last video i did which was the um ever pretty clothing haul you get i got so many lovely comments but it's the negative ones that you know you, you sort of worry about um I sometimes don't know why people have to be so negative to you, you know. Um, but I suppose it's my fault I put myself out there. So I don't mind a bit of criticism. But, you know, sometimes people can be um, really awful about things. You know, if they don't like them, well, then that's, that's their prerogative, you know. But anyway, I digress. So hope to see you next time. And don't forget the Sunday Sunshine Show on Sunday morning at 7.30. I'll probably be on before then. OK, I've got quite a few videos to catch up on. Um, I've got a few things to do in a weekly review. So when I get round to doing that, that will be interesting. OK, bye.